Well, I'm back with my 29 house. Now, this picture is in the career path and it's between the abundance corner and the relationship corner, but it's right near the dining room table, which is where you share your manifestation. Now, walls are about structure. When you put pictures on walls, make sure you like the. Never put a picture on the wall that bugs, well, you probably don't realize it bugs the hell out of you. As soon as I walked in, this picture annoyed me straight away and I thought it's too abstract. -y. It's a tree trying to grow. There's a bit of an elephant coming through here. It looks like a galah coming through here with his eyes and the pink. Now, when I asked one of the members of the family here about this picture, the story is, and can you believe, I don't know why people do this, but they do it over and over again. Here we go. The picture's given to you as a gift. You don't like it. You should send it back. But oh no. And it's the same as the water feature out the front. When the water's on the right hand side, you don't do what's best for you. You don't speak up. You allow other people to say what they want, what they know. Now this was a gift. The person who bought it loved it, but the person who received it wanted something else. So she didn't say, take it back. She put it on the wall. So this picture has to come off the wall. I think it's going on eBay. But anyway, we'll put it somewhere else. But for my client to walk up the stairs and every single day walk into this, it's telling the story is, I don't get what I want, I'm given what's given to me. And I need to make this client very, very positive. And the other thing, as I said before, in her coding, she has a seven. Seven people cannot have abstracts. They have to have very clear pictures. But if we just look in this room, we have this which is quite, anyway, we won't talk anymore about that one. We'll turn over to this one which is in the living room and we've got one single flower over there trying to blossom and we've got three over here. Now again, this artwork here is not happy, it's not uplifting and at 211, 29 to 11 house needs to have very things that are uplifting. If you look straight ahead, we see that wall with the red it immediately has status and a feeling of positivity. So I'm gonna get this picture down, I'm gonna be back with the story of the high chair. So not only do we have a picture on the wall that we see every single day when we come home that we didn't get what we wanted, we've got a high chair over here. Now the high chair belongs to someone when, or it's in the house, but to the child when they were a baby. So this means this high chair sits in the relationship corner, which reminds our client every day that she's still got all these little babies to feed, something from the past she hasn't moved on from and haven't let go. I never have a problem if you want to keep high chairs or furniture from your children to pass on to your grandchildren, and that's one thing. But at the moment we don't have grandchildren, all we're doing is having this energy of heaviness that we're, we're still stuck with things from the past that we need to be free of to let go. If we take this high chair out of the relationship corner, you can really feel the freedom straight away. And I was just out the back and I saw some prosperity plan. So we're just gonna click off for a second and we're gonna do the same recording back where I'm gonna put a prosperity plant there. So I'll be back in two seconds.